for today's video we are going to be shooting the 175 grain 30 caliber federal edge TLR out of a 300 PRC and then a reduced load simulating long range I will shoot the reduced load first go check out sub MOA shooting.com for sample packs of bullets help save yourself some money in load development in more detail you have a fair bit of penetration before you got decent permanent wound cavity and then it actually exited the side of my block about here that's a little bit on the slow side but obviously still create a permanent wound cavity and that was 1431 so even though Another low velocity one, just a little bit, uh, a little bit higher load here. Let me show you something else here first. You can see where it definitely, definitely performed at that range, but that's just a little bit on the slow side. So let's try a slightly hotter load here. You can definitely see that better permanent wound cavity. Gel blocks are getting a little dark. I'm not seeing my bullet, but I think it's in here somewhere. No, it's not. Definitely better permanent wound cavity, but there's where that one came out. So just a little bit. A little bit less penetration before it veered out the side, but definitely per better permanent wound cavity and starting sooner. So let's go ahead and flip these blocks. So I would say just make sure you keep these over that 1600 feet per second mark and you won't have an issue.
There's that high velocity load. Just a little ways in to the scrap block, about two inches in. For over 30 inches of penetration. Good massive perma wound quality. Take the bullet home and rinse the gel out of it. Try to get some of it out of there. But that, my friends, is a beautiful mushroom. And that one was moving. 3,251 feet per second. Since I've started testing the Federal Premium lines of bullets, I've been thoroughly impressed with the TFR and the trophy bonded tip. I've only tested the ascents in the 130 grain 6.5 so far and definitely not impressed with them on the low velocity but on the high velocity they perform similar to these. They just definitely need that 1800 to 2000 feet per second versus these TLRs. But man, that's what you're wanting. Nice big explosive wound cavity carrying all the way to 30 inches of penetration. Gonna get good exit holes. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better performing bullet on your market. Hope you guys enjoy the video.